always a rainbow within reach on animal the number wheel set up. Let's see what today's number will be. I'm ready, Mr. Goose. <laughs> Here we go. Today's special number is 10. Okay, Hedgehog, show me the card with the number 10 on it. I bet I can find it. Let's flip the card over and count how many toes there are. Mr. Goose, can you help me? Of course. Let's count out loud together. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. ten. How many in all? You win! Yay! What do I win? I'm going to tickle your toes! <laughs> Today's number is 10! Let's explore the island and count together! Let's count together! 10! There are ten apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now count them with me. One, One two, two, three, three four, five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine. nine. Ten. ten! How many apples in all? Ten! Yeah! Come on, Wigglebugs! Snack time! Let's do the monkey dance! Yay! Yeah! yeah. yeah. There's a brand new dance you need to count To do each move the right amount There's a special number, the number 10 Come on and count with me Get ready to do everything 10 times! Clap 10 times! Nod 10 times! 
Let's count wiggle bugs together. Ten. <laughs> there are ten wiggle bugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many wiggle bugs in all? Ten. That's right. Let's take their pictures. Say cheese. <laughs> Thank you for helping me take that picture. It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Milo and Baluka. This story is full of fun sounds. Let's listen for them. Let's begin. Milo and Baluka. Written by Mala Kumar. Illustrated by Jithin Jacob. Baby Milo likes to talk. Ga! Gee! Glug, glug, he says. Baluka, the brown bear, likes to talk too. <coughs> Baby Milo and Baluka the bear like to talk to each other. One day, Milo lost his little red toy. He began to cry. Uh, don't cry, please, said Baluka. <coughs> Baluka's tummy went in and out when he talked. Milo looked at the tummy and tapped it. Tap, tap, tap. Tap. Thump. That made Baluka burp loudly. Burp, burp. And out came many things that he had put into his mouth. Oops! Out came the little red top. Tong! It hit Milo on the head. Ta-ding! It fell near baby Milo's little feet. Baby Milo and Baluka the bear began to laugh. They were so happy that they began to sing loudly. And then they went to sleep. Milo slept for a night. Baluka slept for five months. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called I'm a Little Teapot. And look what I have in my backpack. A banjo. I'll sing the song first, then you sing along with me. OK, let's begin. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Now this time, we'll all sing together, okay? Okay! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me. 
Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Which balloon is purple? There it is. Purple balloon. Which kite is purple? There it is. Purple kite. Which sock is purple? There it is. Purple sock. Which jewel is purple? There it is. Purple jewel. That's exactly right. Let's have a pattern party! Yeah! Time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them leave them alone and they'll come home bringing their tails behind them little bo 
peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them leave them alone and they'll come home bringing their tails behind them <laughs>